Welcome to The Data Janitor. I'm Mike West, and thanks for joining me. In this video, let's talk about how you get started. How do you get your first job as a data engineer? The first thing you'll need to understand is that there are no entry-level data engineer jobs. For example, here's a job I found for an entry-level data engineer at IBM. What do you notice in the Preferred Technical and Professional Expertise section? Proficient in SQL, PLSQL, Database Systems, Tableau, Power BI, ETL Tools, Informatica, Data Stage. How can you be proficient in these without any real-world experience? Well, the answer is you can't. Here's another entry-level job I found. This one is even more ridiculous than the first one. Look at the list of qualifications for this entry-level role. These postings are laughable. They won't find anyone entry level with this set of skills, and when they do find that person, they're going to be surprised to learn that that person's around the 200K mark with about three to five years' experience. So, if you want to be a data engineer and there are no entry level data engineers, what do you do? You're going to need to start at a more entry level real world role. The bad news there aren't that many entry level data roles. The only entry level data role is a data analyst. Okay, so how do you get a job as a data analyst? I've created a three-step process on my site LogicBot to help you get your first role as a data analyst. If you don't want to use my site, that's fine. The process is the same. You need to learn SQL. Now, you may be thinking, that's a little vague. Here's a good starting point. If you take my Transact SQL course on LogicBot or Udemy and you understand everything in it, then you know enough SQL to get an entry-level job as a data analyst. But be careful here. I mean, know everything in that course. If I'm interviewing you, you should be able to answer things you've learned from that course. For example, what are the three core DML statements in SQL? And what does each do? What's a primary key? What's DDL? All right, you get the idea. Next up, you're going to need to learn a tool used in the real world. I believe that the top three are Power BI, Looker, and Tableau. My site focuses on Power BI because my background is Microsoft and because there's a data analyst certification path that's widely accepted in the real world. Okay, there are your steps if you're starting from scratch. Step one, you're going to need to learn SQL. Step two, learn the tool you want to focus on in your career as a data analyst. Lastly, and this one's critical, get a certification. Now, don't confuse certification with a completion certificate. A certification means you study for an exam and you go to a location and pass a test. If you get a passing score, then you get the certification. If you don't pass, you keep taking it until you do. Again, without trying to sound too salesy, LogicBot has a SQL course, the Power BI course, and the exam simulator for the Microsoft Certified Data Analyst Certification. In the comments section, I'll put a link to the Data Analyst Certification, and I'll put a link to my Data Analyst page. If you want to focus on the Tableau cert, then I'll put a link to that down below too. Regardless of what tool you want to focus on, the path is the same. You're going to need to learn SQL, learn the tool, and then pass the certification. If you have any questions, then ask them down below. I'll do my best to answer them, and then everyone can learn from all of the questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.